Oh, here we go. We're gonna continue the night. With this match. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Adam Page representing the Bullet Club. Looking to take on Aleister Black for the nation's championship. And it is Adam Page who wanted this title shot after Marty Skull lost her, his opportunity, lost his title shot at the previous pay-per-view bash at the beach. It's uh, Hangman Adam Page's time and it looks like Marty Skull and Cody are clapping it up for him here tonight to hopefully successfully become the next nation's champion. And Adam Page looks uh, very happy to get this title shot. I'm telling you, the Bullet Club are really uh, pulling this one off here tonight. Hangman Page, I mean, if you saw his match against John Hennigan, it was Cody who got involved and really helped him out in the win. His first ever singles match. And now this is his second. Alistair Black being awaited here tonight. He is the champ. He is the nation's champion. This man right here. Alistair Black really really would have nothing else than to he, he doesn't want anything else than to just really defeat uh, his competition I'm telling you that's all he wants from this he wants to be able to defeat his competition in the Bullet Club the Bullet Club has been really on him for a long time now and he wants to put an end to it all Alistair Black We've spoken to him time and time again, and it seems like he really wants to really end the Bullet Club after all. But let, yet again, like I said, hopefully very soon, Alistair Black can get what he wants, but for first, I mean, Adam Page wants that title. That championship around his waist means a lot to him and he really wants to push the division further, says Aleister Black. He's been setting the bar high for the nation's championship and he really wants to continue his reign. Alistair Black looking across at Adam Page. And Adam Page, I mean, he seems fairly cocky that he's going to win this match here tonight just because he has the Bullet Club in this corner. But we saw what happened last time when uh, Bullet Club was in Marty Skull's corner. Alistair Black made all of them fade to black. And Alistair Black now, well, it seems like he, he's very smart in this situation. He knows what the Bullet Club are capable of. He's not stupid. He knows what's going to happen. That's what he has to watch out for. And Aleister Black, I mean, he, he has to really be careful, like I said again. It was a very smart move to uh, ban the Riot Squad from ringside. But I guess this match... The Bullet Club are still at ringside no matter what. They're not banned from ringside. It's totally legal. But let's see what's going to happen here tonight between Adam Page, you know, and Aleister Black. Oh, oh, big reversal there by Adam Page. And now having the side headlock. And now 
taking him down, still grabbing onto the neck area there. And look out, now it's Aleister Black with the advantage, now getting the arm, getting it locked in, and now taking down Adam Page. Adam Page wasn't expecting that one, but oh my god, big hit right to the gut there. As Aleister Black almost getting taken down, and now big suplex leading him, no! It's Adam Page now, he's gonna bring him up and slam him down with a snap suplex right to the back. Man, the back aching of Aleister Black. And look at this. Big suplex again from Adam Page. Looking to wear down his opponent, Aleister Black. And look at this. Uh, let's take him down. No. There's Aleister Black. Oh, my. What a big kick to the side of the leg there. The thigh of Adam Page and taking him down again. Aleister Black really, I mean, he's beaten so many opponents like this. But... Oh, what is he? Oh, my goodness! Brushing the bottom of, the, of, his, of his boot right on the face! And now, what? look at it. What is this? A cross arm bar! Look at a take! Oh, my God! He's got his leg, too! What the hell is this? And a page getting out of it. Really. Almost snapping his arm in half. Adam Page has to be careful. Turning him inside out. And now, look at this. He's got him where he wants him. A big knee to the face here. Aleister Black, he's going to bring him up and toss him right onto the ropes. Very smart decision by Aleister Black to catch a break. And a, oh my, big moonsault by Aleister Black right on, on the back of Adam Page. Hangman now getting covered. He has to kick out, and he does. If you ask me, Aleister Black, since beating Cassius Ono at Armageddon, has really elevated the title, like I said. And I, oh my god, again he's gonna go for this arm here, oh my goodness, look at this, going for another submission hold for the arm, he's gonna pull it back, but whoa, smart reversals by Adam Page, any other competitor would have tapped out, but no, not Adam Page, oh he gets countered, he knows how to really counter the maneuvers, but Aleister Black knows how to answer back if the challenge has been made, oh my god, double knees to the gut, the cover, here we go, Adam Page now, Adam Page, cover, no. Man, Aleister Black really almost got that one, as Aleister now goes for the head. Uh, oh, oh, no, wait a second, it can be lights out for this one. Black Mass, right down to Adam Page. It's over, it's over, one, two, three. Adam Page kicks out. Adam Page. I think he's probably the second man to ever kick out of the, the Black Mass. Uh oh, oh, their big reversal. Adam Page has a big chance here. He's going to pick him up quickly. But for what? Here we go. Oh, there's the Imploder Suplex. Adam Page has a shot. I'm telling you here right now. Uh oh, here we go. He's, he's, he's trying to crawl. He's trying to really crawl to get Aleister Black down, but oh my god, hitting him right on the turnbuckle pad, here we go, and a chop right to the chest to Aleister Black. And now look at this, Aleister, oh, 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 right, right, right of passage, right of passage, Adam Page, right of passage to Aleister Black, one, two, and oh, almost got the title. Really was inches away from hitting his hand on the mat for three. Referee almost counted it. But Adam Page now gonna secure the victory by adding more damage as Aleister Black rolls out. He can't take any more. And now here we go. Looking to go outside. Looking to take him down here yet again. Oh, no, no. That's Aleister Black that reverses and takes down Adam Page. Look at this. Adam Page, oh, with knee right to the back, aching there from that man. And now, kick out. As Hangman and, and Alistair are really putting on a great match for everyone here tonight. Oh, whoa, oh, reversal. And now Adam Page is the upper hand. What is Adam Page looking to do? Looking to do a snapmare, looking to hold him down there for quite a few seconds. And oh, whoa, whoa, no. There's Adam Page. 
Adam Page with some furious strikes. And now look at this. Oh, the beat. Knee to the gut. And another knee to the gut. Adam Page now. A Russian leg sweep to Alistair Black. As Adam Page is just completely taken over. Look at this. Adam Page is going to pick him up and brings him down. Huge Mishkunoku driver. Adam Page really taunting, no matter what, taunting his way to victory here, ladies and gentlemen. And now look at this, looking to do some damage to Aleister Black, but Aleister Black with the counter. Oh, oh, big takedown there. Aleister Black not wasting any time here. Look at this, looking to chop him down. And, oh God, oh my goodness, the vicious strikes. Aleister Black taking down Adam Page. And now Aleister Black, look at this. From the middle rope, I don't know what's he gonna go for. Can he really go for this? He's kind of far. We'll find out, oh my God, taking down Adam Page. And he put him right into position, right into position. Here we go, Aleister Black gonna go for the double knees to the gut. Aleister Black looking to finish this one off. As now, here we go, Aleister Black. Oh, man. Here we go. This is what he wants to do. Oh, wait, no. Adam Page. Adam Page with the reversal. Adam Page now wanting to take down Aleister Black. And now, look at this. Looking to do this again. Big knee to the gut. Looking to wear down Aleister Black. Wear down his opponent. Nice takedown there by Adam Page. Adam Page. Look at this now. Oh my. Big knee right to the back of the head. Adam Page, look at this, look at this. Imploder suplex. Adam Page, now he's going up to the top rope. Adam Page doesn't normally get up here, but when he does, he hits a huge splash there on Aleister Black. And oh my god, hitting a big right hand on Aleister Black here. And look at this, oh wait, no. Aleister Black with the counter. Aleister. Whoa, look. What is he doing? Oh my goodness. Aleister Black. Oh, oh my God. He's taunting the Bullet Club right now. Look at this. He's going to bring him in. Going for oh, the big brain buster. Aleister Black, I'm telling you, this man, he doesn't want to be messed with. Oh. My God, the strikes coming from Aleister Black taking down Adam Page. And now look at this. Aleister Black, what's he going to go for? What's, what's, what's there to go for left, really? Oh, my, taking him down. A really close moonsault there from the ropes. Aleister Black now. He's going to finish things off now. Oh, no, Adam Page, Adam Page. Look at this. Adam Page taking him down on the knee. Adam Page looks to finish this one off. Here we go, Adam Page. Oh no, the knee right to the face. And oh my God, taken down, Adam Page. Bang, right there, Aleister Black with the cover. One, two, three. And there you have it. Aleister Black retains yet again. Adam Page couldn't even do it. Aleister Black here retaining tonight is very huge for him. Aleister Black, who would have thought that this man would be walking away with his championship here tonight despite the numbers gain that he's been facing quite a while here from the Bullet Club. Well, hopefully this saga of the Bullet Club has ended because Aleister Black's reign still continues as the nation's championship is held up high by Aleister Black. Well, the division, like Aleister Black says, is now saved. The division is relevant again. It is important. It is one of the most important championships in pure wrestling. And that's what he feels. Aleister Black, well, you just got to say you're damn right about that. Ever since becoming nation's champion, everybody's been paying attention to that man right there, Aleister Black. The question remains, who will defeat Aleister Black 
in his quest to carry on the championship's long reign. That has yet to be answered. And here we go. It is now time for the CJM Championship to be on the line. Dean Ambrose, he has a very big chip on his shoulder tonight, knowing that Braun Strowman has been on this rampage. Dean Ambrose wants to really dethrone Braun Strowman here tonight to regain what he believes is his CJM Championship. Well, I can tell you what, Dean Ambrose really wants his belt back. And it looks like Braun Strowman really doesn't want to give that up at all. I mean, did you see the go-home show? Two Night of Champions from CJM, my God. Dean Ambrose completely taking out Braun Strowman. I don't know how that man is still standing to this day, but Braun Strowman is a monster. I can't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Braun Strowman, the monster among men, the CJM champion, heading into Night of Champions here tonight. Well, he better be on the lookout because Andrade Cien Almas is still Mr. Money in the Bank. He better be careful, Braun Strowman. I don't know with, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. There's no, there, there's really nothing we can say about this man. We already know, first ever King of the Ring winner, CJM champion. And also undefeated. As the championship is on the line, Dean has to keep in mind, I mean, he has to keep his focus on the CJM championship because he has this contract where he can never put his hands on general manager Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon, of course, went on to ambush him at Bash of the Beach, and he's been hiding from Ambrose ever since. Ambrose has been on the lookout, but you know what? Time and time again, it's Shane McMahon that comes out of nowhere and screws Dean Ambrose over. Hopefully that won't happen here tonight. I heard uh, they're taking very big precautions here. Security lined up and everything to prevent that from happening tonight. Let this be a legitimate fight, please. Please, Vince. I don't know how Vince runs this show with le letting his own son run amok here, which is so irresponsible from the both of them. I, I can't believe it, but hopefully, you know, everything is in order and we have everything, everything solved. That's all we ask for. But here we go. The bell has rang, and now Dean Ambrose is going to go after the champ in which he believes it's his title. He's never lost it. He's got cheated from it time and time again. This all started from a long time ago, and you know Dean Ambrose is furious about this one. Oh, my God. Shoving him down. Ambrose now getting... Oh, my God. Chopped right on the back of the head. And now, taking down the Monster Among Men using the big leg of Strowman. And now look out off the ropes here. Ambrose, oh no! Braun Strowman with that reversal coming out of nowhere, really taking him out. And now Strowman, oh my god, look, we're talking about the strength of Strowman. We're looking at it right now in place. Oh my god! Now hitting him right on the back of the head. Ambrose is down and out. Oh no, Ambrose now reverses everything here. Ambrose really wants to play this game with Braun Strowman, and it looks like he's gonna get it. Look out. Oh, right into the turnbuckle padding. Look at this, shoving his face down right into the pad. My God. Look at uh, incapacitate his opponent, Braun Strowman, and now look out. He's gonna take him somewhere else now. He's gonna take him to the ropes. They're going to play with Strowman, play some mind games like he did on CJM. I've never seen, one, seen anyone play mind games with a man that's much taller than them and more intimidating. 
And Dean Ambrose taking down the Monster Among Men, looking mighty impressive in the beginning and the early going of this match. And now here we go, Dean Ambrose, what's he gonna do? Oh my, big clubbing blow by Strowman. And now Strowman's got him up. Strowman's picked him up and oh my God, knocked him right down. And now focusing right on the shoulder of Dean Ambrose. And now Ambrose sweeps the leg, taking him down. Ambrose now, look at this. He's gonna throw him to the corner here. What is he gonna do? We're looking to pick him up, no. And Strowman takes him down. Braun Strowman really doing a number on Dean Ambrose, going after the back of the leg. And now Braun Strowman looking to run the ropes, looking to tease him a little there. But look out now, Braun Strowman picks him up. Oh no, 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 Dean Ambrose counters. Ambrose counters, and now Ambrose, look at this. Look at him knock him straight down, silly. Ambrose really doing a brutal beating right now. And Ambrose, here we go. He's looking to grab him. Where is he going to put him now? Ambrose is going to really take him. He's going to put him on the ropes again. Look out. Oh, oh my forearm to the face. And we missed this. Oh, lunatic clothesline from Dean Ambrose. Ambrose is feeling it. He wants the CJM gold. And he's going to get it here tonight. If he hits the dirty deeds. Look out, Strowman. Oh, Strowman stopping him with a snapmare. Not focusing on the neck. Focusing on the neck there is Strowman. Not letting Ambrose have a chance to breathe here. But oh, whoa, 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 Ambrose, oh my. Look at the big shots raining down. Oh, kick right to the midsection. He's got him up, he's got him up. Looking for a jackknife power bomb. Oh no, oh, to the corner. Jeez. Knocking him right out in the corner. Chops to the, no, no chops. And, oh, Ambrose gets meet, met with an uppercut. Ambrose has got him in a headlock here. He has to think of something quick. He lets him go for a split second, but that was his mistake. As now Strowman's got him up, and he tosses him over like nothing. Braun Strowman now. Oh, man, he's calling for it. He's calling for the running power slam. Look out now. Running power slam. Braun Strowman takes down Ambrose. The cover. Braun Strowman's foot is on the rope. His foot is on the rope. Wait a sec. Referee. Referee did not notice that Braun Strowman's foot was on the bottom rope. What the hell was that, ref? Well, let's hope that doesn't happen again because Ambrose almost lost because of it. Oh my, oh my, here we go. Braun Strowman, oh, snake eyes to the turnbuckle pad. Huge deadly snake eyes. Now he's looking to deadlift him up. Looking to deadlift him and throw him back down on the mat. And now, oh, going back to the shoulder. Ambrose really, really trying to get out of this one. Ambrose now getting dragged into the center of the ring. Going for the cover, Braun Strowman. The huge amount of weight on Dean Ambrose. I'm surprised he kicked out of that one. The huge amount of weight on him was just too much. I'm surprised, like I said, he got out of that one fairly quickly. And now Ambrose gets back up into the corner. We haven't seen a Dirty Deeds once in this match, which is uh, very scary for Dean Ambrose, I'd say. If he hits the Dirty Deeds, it's over. Oh my, he makes him hit the, meet the knee, and oh my God, going for the leg. Look like, and now look at this, Braun Strowman looking to power through Dean Ambrose here, but oh, Ambrose, oh my God, with the vicious headbutt now. Ambrose unleashing a flurry. Oh my, on, on Braun Strowman. Oh my God, here we go. Dean Ambrose, he's looking to fly here tonight. He's looking to go for the suicide dive. Kenny in it, Dean Ambrose off the ropes. And suicide dive onto the barricade. Dean Ambrose letting a Braun Strowman feel it. Now he's gonna pick him up. I'm gonna put him back inside the ring. Dean Ambrose is looking for something very, very dastardly here. What the hell can he be going for? What, what is this? Ambrose, he's picking Strowman up. What the hell is he going for? Uh-oh. Oh my God! Braun Strowman caught him in the air! Strowman from the middle row power slam! Oh my God! I think he just broke 
Dean Ambrose in half. And he got him. Braun Strowman catching Ambrose out of nowhere. Oh my God. Braun Strowman reigns supreme tonight. Well, there you see it right there. That huge power slam coming from the top and almost laying a Dean Ambrose to waste there. And my God, the huge impact from the ring. Braun Strowman is still the CJM champion. Can anybody stop this man? The lunatic fringe couldn't even do it, ladies and gentlemen. And Ambrose really did try, and there was no Shane McMahon to interfere. Braun Strowman, what a monster among men. Truly a walking, de destructible force. Strowman does not play any games when he comes to his championship. And I'm concerned for any man who's next for Braun Strowman. I can't wait for this one here. As it'll be Mickey James taking on Candice Lee Ray. Mickey James is super hyped tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And this is because it's a women's wrestling championship matchup tonight. Fighting for the championship she really wants to hold here tonight. We're gonna see if she actually can get the job done. Mickey James, we know she's a very top, big top legend here. Over at Pure Wrestling. But the question still remains, can she? Will she do the job? Can she get the job done? In beating Candice Lee Ray for the championship. Despite being in CJM and in Pure Wrestling, Mickey James has never held a women's championship. And we're gonna see if it finally she gets her moment tonight. But well, let's switch gears here talking about Candice Lee Ray. She's held the title ever since cashing in on Tessa Blanchard. Which is in a long time now. But right here she comes, Candice Lee Ray. Coming out here tonight, the champion. As uh, we've had talks with Candice Lee Ray, and you know, she honestly feels bad about Nick Sanul and all that, and her injury in the Riot Squad, you know, over at CJM. She said, Trust me, if I had anything to do to help, Luke, I mean, to help uh, Nick Sanul, she said, Sorry. If she had any an opportunity to help Nick Sanul, she said that she would, but she can't. She, she's on a separate brand. And uh, that crossing over rule is uh, very, very. Uh, on the, how do you say it? it's very skeptical it's very uh, unpredictable they, they don't want it to happen and there it is the women's wrestling championship on the line and Mickey James seems like she'll be ready for the tough challenge here tonight as uh, correct me if I'm wrong maybe Maybe she might be facing Candice Lee Ray for the first time tonight. As Candice Lee Ray seems ready, her last opponent wasn't. And I'm telling you this because it was true. I mean, at Bash of the Beach, Candice Lee Ray ended up winning the matchup. Paige, I mean, that that was her last ever match. And honestly, Paige put it put her all on the line. Trust me, she did. But it was too much. And the Lee Ray's wild ride off the ladder onto a table was the end of that one. There it is, the championship on the line. Mickey James says yes that she's ready. Referee is going to hold up the gold. But here we go. Championship on the line. We're just moments away from the main event of tonight's pay-per-view, which is Kenny Omega versus AJ Styles. It's going to be a good one. But first, we have women's action here. 
as uh, we just had one of the major titles defended. The CJM Championship was defended by Braun Strowman. He went up against Dean Ambrose. But as Candice LeRae now, she's trying to figure out Mickey James here. I mean, there's no telling what Mickey James could do. She's a legend. She's a veteran. Oh, we're going to back her up. I don't know to where. Back her up onto the ropes there. Looks like referee's going to try to break things up here, but will he get a clean break? Oh, so it looks like, yeah, a clean break there from the both women here. Like I said, they both respect each other massively tonight. Oh, my God, taking her out with that spinning back fist to the face. And now, oh, Candice Lee Ray. No, oh, reversal there by Mickey James. They're going to take her down. But, oh, Mickey James for the third strike takes her down. Mickey James now going to the outside, trying to do a bu bunch of work on Candice Lee Ray. And oh my god, slamming her face first right onto the mat on the floor. And oh, taking her down. Mickey James is pulling off all the stops to try to take down Candice Lee Ray no matter what. And now hold on. Wait, wait, Candice Lee Ray with a big hurricane rana spilling it out on the outside there. Now she's looking to pick up Mickey James. What is she looking to do here? Hold on now. Oh, beautiful STL takes her down. And now they're going to pick her up and throws her back inside the ring before the count of 10. Has to be very, very careful with that count of 10. Going for the cover. Will it be over? No. Man, Mickey James looks to make a big impact, I'm telling you. And look at this. Mickey James off the ropes. Gets met with a drop kick. No. And now Mickey James. Oh, big form to the face. Big slap there. And now here we go. Bringing that knee right to the oh chest of Candice Lee Ray. The cover's been made. Hold on now. One kick out. And man, I've never seen so much excitement from these fans here tonight. I mean, the first ever uh, Night of Champions, we had a different showing. Oh my God, Mickey James with the spinning heel kick. Hold on, I have to interrupt my sentence here because we're about to have a new champion. Mickey James and Big DDT. Calls for the cover in anticipation. And, oh, she kicks out. Oh, man. I really thought Mickey James would have got it there. But Candice Lee Ray with the reversal and the kick out from out of nowhere. Candice Lee Ray, look out. Looking to pick up Mickey James. Where she's going to take her? What? Oh, right onto the turnbuckle pad and throws her down. Candice LeRae looking to taunt it up there in the corner. And now, look at this, looking to pick her up. What is she looking to do? Looking to pick her up again, and... Oh, throws her with an impact. And now, whoa, Mickey James, Mickey James is caught. Whoa, 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 there's an octopus stretch there. Mickey James is in trouble. She might as well just tap right now. Mickey James, whoa, she gets out of it. Mickey James gets out of it. Mickey James has the experience, the knowledge to get out of that one. Most women don't even know how to get out of that. They don't even know how to reverse that. But Mickey James does it. Oh my God. There's a spinning big kick to the face. The cover, no. If you ask me, I mean, they would have, they, they was, they were a little too close to the bottom rope there. I don't know how that wasn't a rope break, but let's continue on. Oh, big hit to the side. And Candice Lee Ray, no. Candice gets caught. Oh, Mickey James gets caught this time. Gets turned around, and Candice Lee Ray with the finisher right onto the head. Mickey James is taken down. She's in trouble. One, two, three. Candice Lee Ray retains her championship. Wow, Candice Lee Ray with one finish, completely wiping out Mickey James here tonight. Oh, Candice Lee Ray. I mean. Is there any woman that can really take Candice Lee Ray down? If you ask me, I don't know. Candice Lee Ray. She's still your woman's wrestling champion. She's a fighting champion, ladies and gentlemen. Candice Lee Ray. I never doubted this woman from day one since she came. Ever since she came to pure wrestling. She's been overlooked, overshadowed, but guess what? I've always said Candice Lee Ray is quite the underdog in pure wrestling, the equivalent to Nixon Newell. Congratulations here tonight for Candice Lee Ray. Wow. We're getting ready to pack up here tonight, but we can't without this match.
It is the Pure Wrestling Championship being defended here tonight. It is the cleaner, the best belt machine, Kenny Omega. Coming out here tonight, going toe-to-toe, one-on-one -to -one -on -one with AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. It is gonna be quite an interesting matchup. This is gonna be the first ever time these two will fight. And I, I don't know how, how I'm gonna feel about this. I've never seen Omega and AJ Styles in singles action together. And it, it's just gonna blow our mind when we see it. As Kenny Omega is ready for this match, so is the crowd here, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone standing on their feet for this one. Omega has this big championship opportunity that he's going to grasp on and hopefully continue with it and hopefully win the championship. As he awaits for the champ. And here we go. Here comes the champ that runs the camp here. Here is AJ Styles. The Pure Wrestling Champion is here and he's here to stay. As we all know, the phenomenal one, his track record of championship title defenses. AJ Styles is a very, very big competitor. As here tonight, everyone's excited to see AJ Styles with that championship, putting it out on the line. Having his blue and red gear here tonight. Very, uh, very, that's like a very nice attire, I'd say. I guess uh, it's the best representation. It, it's very fitting for Night of Champions because as you know, AJ Styles is the first ever Triple Crown Champion. I guess maybe uh, a little bit of the black and red represents APW. The full red represents CJM and the blue represents Pure Wrestling. So it's the best of all three worlds there. AJ Styles having that with him here tonight. Combining two of the brands and putting the colors together. Very smart. But this man right here wants that title and you can see it in his eyes. He's held that championship before. But Kenny Omega, and it was around this time he was champion as a matter of fact. But seems to me like Omega wants to get the job done again. He wants that championship no matter what. He wants to become a two-time pure wrestling champion. AJ Styles looking on across the ring at Kenny Omega like if this is really happening, and it is. AJ Styles has never faced Omega. Kenny Omega has faced Cody. He's faced Finn Balor. Hell, he's even faced Randy Orton. AJ Styles has beaten Randy Orton. He's beaten... He's, he's also beaten, uh, who, who else? He's beaten, oh, he, wait, no, he's never faced Finn Balor, as a matter of fact. I was about to say Finn Balor, but no, he's never, he's never faced Finn Balor one-on-one. -on -one. Different career paths by these men here. Like I said, during the time in season one, uh, APW was having their way with, uh, oh my god, look at that jumping Hurricane Rana. Having their way with AJ Styles, well, Kenny Omega recently debuted in season one, and then season two, Kenny Omega stayed in, uh, he stayed in pure wrestling, and AJ Styles stayed in CJM. He got drafted. Oh my God, right into the apron there. Jeez. And don't forget the slogan of this pay-per-view. 
Oh my god, he's slamming his face right onto the to the apron there. Hardest part of the ring. You don't want to see that happen. And uh Oh, taking out the leg there. And uh, like I was saying, uh AJ Styles. Oh, deep arm drag. Season three, we're here. Both of them are in pure wrestling. Kenny Omega never gave up on pure wrestling. He's a former Mr. Money in the Bank holder. He is a former pure wrestling champion. Kenny Omega is very driven. Oh my, thrown inside the ring. Very driven to hold another championship in the near future. And it might be this one here tonight. AJ Styles now. Oh, beautiful drop kick there by Styles. As this is the main event of Night of Champions. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Kenny Omega versus AJ Styles. Look out now. And oh, oh, showboating is Kenny Omega. Oh my God, taking him down. Hurting the spine, the neck, and a springboard. Moonsault landing its mark from Kenny Omega to AJ Styles. And now look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. Going for, oh my God, a big stretch here. Locking it in place no matter what. Oh, Styles reverses it, flips out of it, but... No, couldn't quite get the cover, couldn't quite get the pin as a big DDT drops on his head. And can you imagine if Omega wins tonight? Oh my, V Trigger! Maybe it's happening! Maybe I just predicted the future because a V Trigger just kept, just caught AJ out of nowhere. And now, no! I was about to say, and now we have a new champ, but no, we don't have a new champ. AJ Styles kicks out. But will he be able to kick out of this one-winged angel? One-winged angel here. He's going to pick him up. He's got him. And now he delivers him right down on the mat. The cover's been made. AJ Styles to lose, though. No. Kicks out. Omega wondering how the hell did that happen. But now he's going up to the middle rope. And, oh, missed a big elbow drop there missed a big opportunity and styles now well styles just staring at him in confusion but styles gets caught oh my hit to the back no aj styles now aj styles picks him up and now lifts him and drops him right down on the neck very smart there is aj styles but now aj styles look at this what the hell it's a bloody sunday from aj styles AJ Styles now, he's going to go for the phenomenal form, here we go, is Kenny Omega going to be too close or will Styles have the reach, oh a phenomenal form from AJ Styles into the cover, hooks the leg, two and no, AJ Styles almost retained his championship tonight, what a close one, AJ Styles, man. Oh, God. That was so close. AJ Styles taunting, doing, doing whatever he can to get the crowd, the momentum on his side. But the crowd is like split 50-50 here tonight. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You shift out of there. Styles now. We're going to crank the neck a little bit more of Kenny Omega. Now takes him down as now AJ Styles picks him up. What now? What now, Styles? Oh, oh he's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. The knee right to the back of the head. He's trying to wear down Kenny Omega for good as Omega is in deep trouble. Oh, my. He's going to set him up for the... Oh, my power bomb. Look at this. One, two, and a kick out. Omega kicks out of it. As a very fatigued Styles contemplates on his next move, it's going to be the Styles Clash. Omega's in trouble. He senses it. Here we go. Styles Clash brings him down. Turns him over. The cover's been made. It's going to be over. Oh, what? Omega kicks out of the Styles Clash. What the hell? Kenny Omega kicks out. Big moves out there by Styles. I'm still in shock of how that went down. Kicking out of the Styles Clash, kicking out of the phenomenal form. How the hell can somebody have the werewolf out to do so? Oh my God! Bring him down right on his neck. And now 
Kenny Omega is going to bring him up. But first, doing a little bit more damage to the neck. Very smart man is Kenny Omega, knowing what body parts to target. And now looking to bring him up, looking to finish him off. Here we go. Kenny Omega looking to do AJ Styles. Well, look at this. Styles. Oh, oh my God. AJ Styles. Oh, oh, look. Oh, no. Paying homage again. Styles bringing him right down. And AJ Styles, he's calling for it, ladies and gentlemen. Here it comes. Oh, man, right in the center of the ring. Hooks the arms and Styles clash down to Kenny Omega. Cover one, two, three. AJ Styles with the win. Wow, AJ Styles defeated the best belt machine here. Kenny Omega. And there's Styles with the Styles clash right there. Very impactful. Knocking. Kenny Omega down straight. And that was it from there, ladies and gentlemen. AJ Styles with one hell of an impressive title defense. And I'm saying this right now, ladies and gentlemen. If you indeed like this pay-per-view, if you like all the matches, please tell me which one was your favorite down below in the comment section. Because all of them were great to me. AJ Styles retaining his championship here tonight. If you like this video, if you like this pay-per-view, please leave a like, share with your friends, and of course, turn on those post notifications for future episodes of CJM and Pure Wrestling for the follow-up and for the build-up of the next pay-per-view. Because AJ Styles is surely ready, and I'll see you guys for CJM Pure Wrestling.